Hey guys, Brandon Gomez here, back again with another video, and today, we're going to be looking at the top 5 best and worst paint schemes of 2021. In this video, we're going to look at the best of the best, and the worst of the worst. Let's get into it. Number 5. Coming in at the number 5 slot is Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s Throwback from this year. This was supposed to be a throwback, quote-unquote, to Ricky Craven. And they did a bad job. This does not look like Ricky Craven's old Tide car whatsoever. It, it's a terrible throwback. I don't know what Kroger and JTG Doherty were thinking when they came up with this paint scheme. It's just disrespectful to Ricky Craven. Absolutely disrespectful. This is good as a primary scheme, but as a throwback, it sucks. That's all I gotta say. Number four. Taking the number four slot on this list is Ross Chastain's Clover Car. The only problem I have about this scheme is is the orange number. It absolutely ruins the scheme for me. The Clover car is such a great paint scheme. It's a great paint scheme, but it's ruined by the orange number. It just does not look good. It's ugly. If it had a white number, it'd be better. Number three. Coming in at number three on this list is William Byron's Exalta car. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this, but I'm one of the rare few that still has not warmed up to this paint scheme. I didn't like it when it was first unveiled, and I still don't like it now. It's ugly. I don't like it. The flames were way better. This? This sucks. It's not a good paint scheme. It's bad. Number two. At number two on this list is Ross Chastain's McDonald's car. Uh, this, this one's just awful. What were they thinking when they made this? It's literally just a red base with McDonald's M's on it in random spots. This is a terrible paint scheme. Who in their right mind thought this would be a good paint scheme to run out on the track? Who at Chip Ganassi Racing greenlit this paint scheme? Because they must have some screws loose. This paint scheme sucks. Before we get to number one, here are some honorable, well, dishonorable mentions. These paint schemes were bad, but they weren't bad enough to make the cut. They're still bad, just not bad enough to make the list. Anyway, number one. The number one worst paint scheme of the year is Ryan Newman's Oscar Mayer car that he ran at Atlanta. Where do I even begin with this paint scheme? Yellow base. A hot dog on the top of the car. And Oscar Mayer logos. That's it. The Oscar Mayer logo on the hood isn't even centered. It's shifted to the right. This paint scheme is terrible. Who greenlit this? Ugh, I'm mentally drained from all those terrible paint schemes that I had to look at. Anyway, shifting gears to the top five best paint schemes of 2021. Number five. At number five on this list, ironically enough, is Kyle Larson's 
HendrickCars.com scheme. I fell in love with this scheme the second it was revealed. It just looks so clean, it's really beautiful, and it has a meaning to the Hendrick guys. This was the paint scheme that the late Ricky Hendrick drove. So it carries a lot of meaning in the Hendrick organization. And that just, it makes me love the paint scheme even more. Number four. At number four on this list is Ryan Blaney's body armor edge car that he ran at the Coke 600. This scheme is very colorful. It uses all the primary colors. And it just looks really clean, really awesome. Very colorful. I love it. Number three. At number three on the list is Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s Sunny D car. I love this paint scheme. It's really clean. It's really awesome. It's perfect. You can never go wrong with the Sunny D schemes. This scheme is mwah. Perfection. Nothing wrong with this paint scheme whatsoever. Number two. At number two on this list is Alex Bowman's Neon Lights car that he ran at Nashville. I love this paint scheme. The purple goes so well with the light blue and the dark pink. It just, it's just, it's beautiful. Beautiful. It's a beautiful paint scheme. That's all I gotta say. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Before we get to number one, here are some honorable mentions. Now, guys, there were a lot of great paint schemes this year, and it was hard to narrow it down to just five. All of these paint schemes are great, but I just liked some of them better than others. Hence why these just didn't make the cut. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The number one paint scheme of 2021. At number one on this list is Kevin Harvick's Gravedigger car that he ran at Nashville. I was never a fan of Monster Jam, but seeing a monster truck livery on an NASCAR stock car is cool as hell. This is paint scheme of the year, in my opinion. Arguably the greatest paint scheme of Kevin Harvick's career. This, this is the winner. And there you have it, the top five Best and Worst Paint Schemes of 2021. Do you agree with where I rank these paint schemes? Do you feel like there's a paint scheme that I left out that should have been on one of these lists? Let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see more of me, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links to both are in the description down below. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more NASCAR content. Thank you all so much for watching. That's it for me. Peace.